Oh, it's a motherboard. This is a socket. But what are these slots and what are these connectors? Computer words are scary. Buying your first motherboard can be an overwhelming experience. There are so many kinds and you may not know which to pick. If this sounds like you, then stick around. There are 4 factors which you can consider when buying your first motherboard. They are Number 1. CPU used Number 2. The size of the board Number 3. The other PC parts that you have on your motherboard And Number 4. The price AMD or Intel? That's the first thing you should ask yourself. Why? AMD and Intel use different sockets on the motherboard. Confused? Don't worry, we'll cover that in factor number 3. Mini ITX, MATX, ATX, EATX, and XL ATX. I know you're like, Melvin, what's all this? Breathe in, breathe out. All these acronyms refer to the different sizes of motherboards. Do make sure that you have the right case for the right board. Because that will save you headaches from buying the wrong size of board. We have a lot of abbreviations in Singapore like ECP, SLE, PUB, KGB, but there's hell more in the tech world. For the sake of this demo, this is the MSI B350M Bazooka and MATX board. First thing, this is the CPU socket. Next, these are the RAM slots where you insert your RAM sticks. Most boards these days have 4 RAM slots, so for example, you can use 2 sticks of 8GB RAM to get 16GB of RAM. Next, where do you plug in your hard drives? If you have a very fast M.2 NVMe SSD, you will connect it here. If you have regular SSDs or HDDs, you can connect them here via SATA cables. Then let's proceed to the big ones, the PCIe slots. These are where you slot in your GPU and other PCIe parts such as video capture cards or Wi-Fi cards. If you want the best performance, which I'm sure you do, this first slot is where you plug in your GPU. Here's a quick bonus. These are X1 slots. If you have video capture or Wi-Fi cards, you're gonna want to insert them here. Need your USB-C or 3? You can connect them here to the front of your case. Okay, hold on mail, that's too much info. Okay, I get it. There are many other features on this board, but we will not mention them here. And finally, can I get a drum roll for the factor everyone's most concerned with? Yes, it's time to talk about money. Well, you can get a motherboard for as low as Singapore ninety dollars to as high as Singapore fifteen hundred dollars. This B three fifty M bazooka costs about one hundred fifty Singapore dollars. So this all depends on what you need and how you fit the motherboard into your PC build budget. With this basic information, you can buy your first motherboard. But of course, there is so much more to learn. I'm creating a more in-depth version of this beginner's guide. It will be available on my channel real soon. Be sure to smash the subscribe button as well as the bell to know when I drop the video.